as per the CBC circular, all CBC school have to take art integrated projects up to class 10th standard. That is, art integrated learning are being introduced as a teaching tool and not to boost art skills in general. It is also a way to teach and understand various subject matters. Now, here we have introduced and also done few projects, activities in our classes which I am trying to show. This is a crossword puzzle which we have done in English. Now this can also be taken up for social studies, science and various other subjects. This crossword puzzle created by students and Phillips were also done by the students. We give them as a group activity. We can also give them individual activity. It is up to us how we make them do this. Now, before giving the crossword puzzle, we have to make our students understand the lesson or the chapter or the theme that we are trying to make them understand. Once they are done with this, we can introduce this activity as a testing tool. We can take it as a project. We can take it as an activity, classroom activity. We can take it as a recapitulation and we can also introduce art into it. We can just introduce or paste pictures and art and we can ask them to do a crossword puzzle. This is a crossword puzzle. We can also make the puzzle in a different way so that the students are involved and they are enjoying the activity that they are doing. Now as I said this is an English activity now this is a pictorial uh, representation where we have uh, asked the students to draw the uh, picture. We can also do the other way. We can give them points. We can give them a paragraph and ask them to draw. Or, the, uh, or if, if we have a picture, we can ask to write them a, a paragraph based on the lesson that we have taught. Now, uh, there should be a connectivity between what we are making them do and what we have taught them. This activity can be taken as a test, as I have said early, earlier, and then now we can also have a verbal discussion of the uh, pictorial representation. We can ask them to label, we can ask them to write an article, we can ask them to write an essay, and different way, in different ways we can ask them to do this activity. This can be done not only in languages but also in other subjects also like if we want to show a, a diagram of heart or if we show the diagram of the, uh, the transfer section of a leaf. So we can ask them to write a paragraph on that. Now this is also an activity where the teacher gave uh, the uh, diagram of a nerve cell. Now, it's not necessary that the teacher has to give, the teacher can also ask the students to draw the nerve cell. Here, if you ask the students to uh, draw the diagram and color it and label it, and then it is an involved activity. The student not only learns how to do it, but at the same time, introduction of colors gives them a thorough understanding of the different parts of a cell or any other uh, picture. So, art is involved in what the child is doing. This can uh, be done in different subjects, not only science is involved here, we can do it in different subjects too. Now, this is a flowchart representation uh, of uh, French Revolution, that is social studies. We can use a uh, flowchart for story, uh, story representation, for a theory, for an incident, for a method, for a process. So likewise we can use flowcharts for different uh, subjects. Flowchart can be used for uh, uh, literature or languages where you, you tell the students about the various stages uh, in science, the various stages of a certain 
um, uh, certain process or the life cycle of a butterfly and likewise the flow chart helps us the students to understand different processes and methods suppose the extraction of aluminium extraction of iron these all come under activities of a flow chart making so if the different stages can be colored the different stages can be represented with colors different stages uh, can also come up uh, in such a creative way that students uh, give same colors to the same process or same uh, temperature so like this uh, flow chart can also be part of art integration now here French Revolution or Indian independence struggle of Indian uh, that can also be represented or um, any other uh, war uh, war of succession or war of independence these type of activities can also be bring, uh, brought in through the process of uh, making a flow chart activities such as collage making poster making drawing competitions can also be part of your teaching methods now here it, this is an uh, science activity where the first law of Newton is uh, taught uh, or it's a part of the activity so the students they have made and brought in first law of motion the second law of motion and the third law of motion so in these three laws of motion the student has pasted pictures accordingly so this can be your activity and not only with science and social studies this collage making can also be part of English science languages or uh, mathematics so it depends upon how a teacher is able to uh, make the students be part of her activities Certain activities like conservation of trees can also be taken as a competition. Now here uh, the topic is conservation of trees. Now this is um, a topic which is usually taken at various competitions and uh, it is also introduced at various levels of uh, classes. Now we, we can also be a part of uh, class 7 standard, 8 standard, 9 standard, 10 standard uh, because this topic is covered in geography, this topic is covered uh, in uh, yes, uh, science, this is also a part of English because many a times we have forms and lessons based on conservation of trees. We also if you remember we have Chipko movement to save our trees. So uh, likewise we can ask the students to represent their ideas, their principles through activities and we can um, make it a competition so that uh, while the st um, students are doing it as an activity we can also judge them. This can also be a slogan making competition, a slogan writing competition or just a poster making competition. Now here we have done it as a poster making competition where students write a lot of uh, slogans and they make uh, their um, their diagrams their pictures and represent with their ideas now uh, this is an activity of uh, maths mathematics and here if we have a a representation of graph now a, this year onwards we have uh, analytical paragraph so maths can also be uh, subject integrated with English now here if you have uh, this uh, graph of a bar of, or a histogram or a pie this can be uh, um, described or reported in a form of paragraph analysis now here uh, this child has uh, colored this um, bar diagram the same way this can also be used for a uh, pie chart charts they can draw a pie chart color it and then they do the paragraph analysis so this is also a, a representation of what the child is doing in a colorful and the learning is thorough because the child is involved in this not only drawing and coloring we can also make this do in a group as a group activity for English or other subjects also suppose if we are in a group if one child is drawing it the other child can be assigned to solve it the third child can speak on the topic the fourth child can summarize that the likewise uh, different tasks can be different to given to different uh, child and all uh, it's very important that the child should involve each and every student in his uh, class because the involvement of the class is very ne necessary rather than giving or assigning is in to just one student now this is again a maths representation different um, 
art forms we can have worldly art form we can sora art form there are different art forms which can be represented to uh, shapes and uh, sizes and we can ask the students to represent it in a colorful and a more decorative way now this was drawn by one of the students of class uh, 9 standard and he has done it very beautifully now this is a very beautiful art integration in mathematics where the number system the topic is number system and the subtopic is square root sp uh, spiral wheel of the theodors now uh, here the child and uh, the teacher has got involved and uh, the child has uh, taken up a clay uh, this uh, paper uh, this paper has been used or he can also use clay in this uh, the paper has been uh, cut and uh, drawn out in such a way where uh, the root system is understood uh, it is part of uh, mathematics and this can also be uh, taken for different other activities also now this can be in uh, paper color paper pasting or a representation of any other picture the math activities these can be used in a very colorful way all the shapes which come out in a form of a triangle in the form of a rectangle all the shapes can be given colors and colors adding is important because what is art integrating art integration is not just learning a form of art or uh, representing only colors but it is a way how we are going to add more colors so that the child enjoys what he's or she is supposed to do as well as represent it in such a way that she she has got her own ideas of doing it now as i said this is a mathematical activity where the students are using shapes sizes and different forms here also math activity is involved where the uh, where the triangles are used for different colors the triangles are used for uh, different representation the colors are also representing certain activities which are very important these activities are very important for the child to understand various um, angles various shapes so uh, it's in lower classes as well as in bigger classes these activities are uh, can be taken up now in your lower classes activities are usually taken up by teachers they do the activities and they make the students understand but in bigger classes these activities these shapes these colors these cuttings they can it can be represented by the students and they can bring in art integration now this is a story uh, writing uh, activity now it's not necessary that a uh, story writing has to be done it can be in the form of an essay writing it can be a paragraph writing it can be a diary entry it can be an article it depends sometimes we don't give them um, the direct question rather we make them write by looking at the pictures or a cartoon caricature or we can ask them to look at the picture or just a uh, fantasize a certain situation and then the student writes down the story some sometimes we tell them that this is the story now you have to represent this like a cartoon or a comic strip so this and uh, these type of activities can also be brought in to the students so that they enjoy while they are making now as sometimes the story or the lesson that we teach our students that can also be done in a in a form of a story in a form of a picture representation or a, a cartoon caricature now a music as a part of art integration is important and it's quite easy also in class 9th standard we have a lesson uh, music now in that uh, bismillah khan's uh, shehnai wadan is there so you can ask the students to draw a picture of uh, shehnai and uh, then uh, there are different types of shehnai if you if they are able to investigate and draw the uh, Uh, figures of uh, shehnai that is very good if uh, and other way also we can ask the students to draw the picture of any musical instrument which they love and they want to uh, take it as a career or they just want to take it as a hobby so uh, students will draw and find some facts about those uh, about those uh, musical instruments or the other way we can also ask the students to write a paragraph on their favorite musician so likewise we can give a certain task to the students where they find and represent uh, their ideas through art integration we can also ask the students to write poems 
or versification or right lines and it can also be done as a group activity. Now this is a very beautiful uh, finger tapping activity taken up uh, by uh, 10 standard students. We have the invisible man. The same, this lesson, the footprints without feet for uh, class 10 standard. We also have the same lesson as a novel in class 12 standard, the invisible man. Now the activity here is that how will it look like if you don't add colors to uh, the invisible man. So this was a question given to the students and suppose if you're adding colors to the invisible man Where are you going to dab on this now here the students have left out the place where uh, where um, the colors are not necessary so likewise this finger tapping or the finger painting can be used as an uh, art integrated activity in your um, in your different lessons different subjects it is only the creativity of the teacher as well as the creativity of the students can be taken up now here it can also be part of a competition it can also be taken up as a, a learning tool it can also be uh, taken as uh, something which uh, the students uh, will love to do it and they uh, they interrelate this not only with one subject rather they, they can club it with other subjects also this is a, a diagrammatical representation the uh, content was uh, read out to the students the character of uh, custard now if uh, you remember there is a character called uh, custard in the poem uh, the dragon so uh, of class uh, 10 to the tale of the custard dragon now uh, the, uh, it's a poem and then in the poem the uh, character sketch of the custard is uh, given. Now uh, the students have to understand the character sketch of that dragon and he has to represent it in a diagram or he can draw it down, he can represent how it looked like. So this way the diagram has to be uh, represented. So uh, we give a chance to the students to understand various characters of our poem, of our lessons where characters or diagrams are not given. They can draw, they can represent their uh, character in such a way that others also love to um, draw this or represent this. These diagrams can also be uh, in the form of a speaking task, in the form of a writing task. This can also be taken as a uh, competition also. Now, uh, various activities can be a representation in the form of a worksheet. Worksheets can be dry, diagrammatic, it can be in the form of a true and false, it can be a fill-ups, it can be in the form of an MCQ, it can be also used as a recapitulation form, it can be used as a testing tool. So, uh, if it is possible, these integrated forms can be done. Now, here, how are we going to bring art into it? Either you... Um, ask the students to draw it or we can also ask uh, the pictorial representation and then writing all that so it depends upon how we're going to use it now here election vocabulary is there now here this activity is about election so we can add symbols of different parties different political parties and we can uh, we can either paste it or ask them to draw it if we are draw, if we are giving it a task of drawing it, obviously the students will also color it. So this type of activities where the students are able to bring color into their activities or an art form into their activities is more thorough learning and it gives an imprint in the mind that they have done it thoroughly. The map work identification of locations diagram and representing the students are doing it uh, regularly but if we remember that in our childhood we were asked to mark it on the map rather than giving this task of marking we can ask the students to color it color the region of uh, um, independent struggle or if uh, we can also uh, into uh, interrelate uh, or integrate subject to subject because in class uh, 10 standard there is a sub in English we have a subject uh, of uh, Assam, Korg, Goa and that can be uh, intermingled uh, or it can be subject integrated by map work and we can represent it with the different colors and uh, likewise uh, map work and identification can also be done with colors and um, instead of uh, putting a dot or just marking it we can also add the um, specialities of that uh, particular place with a uh, with uh, the uh, diagram on that map 
now listening task now listening task and not only listening task or listening skills this is a very integral part of learning and um, and studying because if you are a good listener obviously the uh, learning process is quicker and quite easy we can give various tasks now here uh, there are five uh, points and we can distribute these five points among uh, our class our students and we can give each line to a group and followed by the second group third group fourth group and fifth group each group will do their part in a different way or we can give these five lines to one child he will do the uh, he can uh, give it uh, he can base it as a speech he can speak on all the five lines or we can give it roll number wise to five students then again followed by the next five students and based on this they can speak they can um, work upon this group activities are also based on this where uh, children try to learn and mingle with each other and they try to uh, be they start to work as a team as a, a group because the teamwork is very important so uh, usually what i do is that if i have uh, points or if i have uh, incidents if i have got situations i usually distribute it among my students i divide the class into four or five groups and then align, uh, assign them with different uh, tasks so that they are able to uh, co be uh, they are able to uh, interrelate as well as uh, cooperate and correlate with each other now this is a research activity uh, on a famous personality now in class 10 standard 9 standard we have stories based on uh, great personalities like nelson mandela we have gautam buddha so uh, when we are talk we have albert einstein we have mahatma gandhi ji so when we have all these um, personalities we can give a task uh, as a group activity or an individual as activity to find out the unknown facts about these great personalities so definitely we can give different um, personalities to different groups because they'll come out with something which we don't know and representing it in a very beautiful way we can give that uh, personality to one group and we ask them to make it uh, we you can deliver it as a speech or you can represent it as a a skit or a drama or you can just highlight it in a form of a ppt or a presentation so the activities are just like a research activity now we can also bring in a travelog uh, travelog uh, is uh, something which is very interesting because children are very much interested to know and study and represent uh, about a particular place now in our syllabus up to class 10 standard we have different places now uh, for just example the uh, maharashtra has been clubbed in with odisha now if uh, i take a small um, or if i take a lesson on bholi or if i take a lesson on wali uh, madam rides the bus there's a chapter in class 10 standard if i have to club that i can ask her that suppose wali is going to odisha now which uh, okay, and uh, after going to odisha what is her feeling she can make it as a diary entry or she can um, as wali she can make up a travelogue or she can um, write it as a paragraph or she can make a picture or representation of what uh, and what all things she uh, saw in uh, odisha so in this way not only um, wali's or in an english uh, subject we can also use this for other subjects also we can use this for geography we can use this for history why this is important the important we can also ask them to read the important travelogues of great personalities and try to uh, represent it um, in a pictorial and in a colorful way so that the students are able to understand it and present it now listening as i told earlier listening to skills and representation of data is very important we can represent this in a form of a paragraph we can read out the paragraph and let the students write what they have heard from us or uh, as the other way around we can also ask them to do, uh, we will make a bar diagram or we will make, present a, a picture and we will ask them to speak on that or we can ask them to write on that so it is upon how we going to rep uh, we going to make the skill come out of them uh, here uh, this is a listening task uh, we can also uh, tell them that uh, in a uh, I I I without a uh, 
uh, in bringing a picture into it we can uh, narrate the whole thing and let them draw it down on a piece of paper suppose if we are telling the process or a life process of a butterfly let the let us uh, dictate it out and let's understand and let's tell them that you draw it down uh, on a four size paper what you have heard from us so uh, this way the student uh, the students and children they try to learn a lot of things quickly and they become very keen listeners because listening is a very important skill and this has to be developed among students now here i have uh, taken a small uh, section uh, there in class 9 standard if i'm not wrong in class 9 standard we have a lesson on assam kurg and goa so we can give these uh, three uh, places to three different groups or we can ask the students to pick up a place and write uh, about um, the speciality of that state because if uh, if I'm giving them, they will definitely write about the uh, tourist uh, attraction of these places. Now, Goa is a hub of tourism. Likewise, we have Kerala, we have got Manali, we have got Jammu and Kashmir. So, why they are so famous? What brings tourists to their, those places? How can we enhance our tourism and our business? Because India is a developing uh, country and uh, to make them understand is very important that a business should run so in taking up goa what is so special there so likewise we can give them task to find out something special about a particular state or a place now representation of a place as i said of a place of a person and we can relate it with a story or a lesson now there are different types of uh, places uh, in our uh, lessons in a student's lessons we have history books a lot of covering a lot of places we have our literature books we have got social studies so these places can be represented with colors these uh, places can also be interrelated uh, this it, it can also be part of our subject integration so uh, students are uh, we can give them work to do so that they come up with not only that we can also ask the students to make up a story based on the lessons that we have taught them now this is the description of a place a description of a place as i already told that this can be taken as a speaking task or writing task and now we have got asl also in asl also we can assessment of speaking and listening task this can also be incorporated into the uh, art integrated project and this can also be taken up as a tool for them now story writing with a different ending now this has uh, this is a very fetching uh, activity because we can uh, ask the students to change the ending of the story suppose uh, if i am taking the same story wali story and she's madam rides the bus and she goes out for a ride on a bus and then if she's not able to return back to uh, back to her home on time what will happen so we have changed the uh, ending of the story likewise i can also interchange the characters of um, of lessons if i am taking bholi and wali together and if i am taking some other characters uh, of uh, history if i am taking some other characters from a different subject from different lesson we can ask them to club it together and make, give it a different touch we can also ask two lessons to be uh, to club together two lessons and then make it uh, uh, a one story so that uh, students have their own critical thinking students are developing experimenting they have their own own way of presenting different things so we have a lot many things and these activities can also be represented in a group form they can divide it as a project we can give it as a uh, individual task we can make it as a listening task we can make it as a writing task we can give it as a as a speaking task it is upon the teacher that the way that she wants to uh, do these activities now, as i said this is a crossword which the students can make and represent I hope you all have loved and enjoyed uh, my art integration projects. If you have any queries, please do get back to me. Thank you so much.